Right now, out in the lobby and in the tryouts, it, this is incredible. The amount of amazing female talent out there is just, it gives you the jitters. Like, it's exciting. Like, I'm a female fighter and I'm looking at all these women and I'm getting this exhilaration and this happiness for them. And I'm so pumped for them. And they're so good. You have no idea how good these women are. Nobody does because they've never had the chance. And now it's their time. It's their time to shine. It's their time to show that they're just as good as the men, that they're experienced, they're ready to go. And just so excited for this, like I'm pumped. I'm Jocelyn Leibarger. I fight of the Lab MMA, uh, Ben Henderson Shin. Revelina Berto, and I'm fighting out of Warner Haven, Florida. Erica Newsom, fighting out of Fight Works in Pasadena, California. My name is Veronica Lacurdo, and I'm fighting out of San Francisco, California. My name is Nicole Knudsen, and I'm fighting out of Anchorage, Alaska. My name is Raquel Pennington. I train out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Jennifer Scott, out of Houston, Texas. Uh, Lindsay Garbett, uh, everyone calls me Garbs and I'm fighting out of Oshawa. I train just outside of Toronto. It's Jessica Pryor. I'm fighting out of Los Angeles. It's Deanna Bennett. I'm fighting out of the Pit Elevated in Orm, Utah. I'm Roxanne Modafferi, fighting out of Yokohama, Team Ground Slam. Colleen Schneider, Syndicate MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Laura Howarth, and I fight out of Brighton, England. It's Jessamyn Duke, and I'm fighting out of Richmond, Kentucky. It's Shayna Baszler, Queen of Spades, and uh, I'm fighting out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Tanya Evinger, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Dara LaRosa, and uh, I don't know, I guess I've been training for a little bit. You know, I thought I'd come and try out with all these awesome girls, and just it's just a great experience to be here, and I'm just so honored, and oh my god. I flew from Florida, so, you know, not too many Florida girls getting much love in my world. All these Cali girls getting love, so I'm like, that is your awesome love too. So I'm out here trying to represent for Florida. And I'm so happy to be around so many other women who are strong, you know, beautiful, powerful, and are doing what they love to do. I love this sport. I, I played so many sports growing up and nothing compares to MMA. I love the sport. To see it grow and to see an opportunity to have a future in the sport is something that, that just makes me so incredibly happy. I think I've been fighting for about nine years now. Uh, my first fight was in Smack Girl and the rules were the 30 second ground rule and um, you know, once you're on the ground for 30 seconds, they had to stand you up. And I had like no striking. I was like, okay, one, two, oh, okay, take down time. The craziest thing for me was being at the fight when Rousey and Carmouche headlined. Like that was when it hit home. Like it was real. Like we can actually fight in the UFC now. Like it's, I didn't even think about it before because it wasn't, it wasn't real, you know? Like that, that was so, so nuts. Like I can do this. This is, you know? This is within the realm of possibility now. Like this is where I can go with my career. Like it's fucking amazing. And now I'm at tough tryouts. So I was screaming in the car on the way over. Like I pulled off the highway. I'm driving down Sahara, and I just started screaming. <laughs> so I was so excited. This is cool. This is really awesome. I I never thought this would happen while I was still actively fighting. I thought I'd be retired and done by the time the UFC ever got around to put women in and, and even decided to do an ultimate fighter house. So this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I'm excited to be here, trying out and everything. So um, we'll see how it goes. I've been fighting for like almost 11 years and I've done pretty much everything a female could do in the sport up to this point, um, except for this. And so I just, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, sleep well at night, not at least having seeing what the heck happens if I come here, so I had to do it. But I think we just need to get back to uh, what people want to see, and that's that's fighting, and that's uh, to bring it out of you. I don't want to see a bunch of crybabies. I'm not going in there and crying, and they're going to talk about, you know, this is for my family, and this is for everything I put all this heart. Of course it is, you know, of course it is for everybody, but I'm there to punch people. And, uh... I don't know, look at sexy hot chicks and punch people. And you see all these women, I despise them all. Because they all talk all of me. Like it's so 
it's so weird for me. Like even when I fight, like when I get done, like I'm like right there by the stage, like trying to like slap hands as they walk out to fight and stuff. Like I love it. Like this is, it's just so so much fun, you know. It's and I'm, I would love to be on a show like this so I could like be around that for six weeks, you know. Like just to get to be in that kind of environment is like a dream come true. This is actually Jenna Dodson. She'll be trying out um, for the season of the Ultimate Fighter this year. I've been coaching her for a long time, you know. I think she might have a chance at, uh, at you know, possibly winning some UFC fights. I'm not sure. I mean, I just did this so sporadically. I got this in the bag. Watch me. Jenna Dodson.